Hello everybody and welcome back to the Debates Movies and Gaming channel. Today we are going to rank the top 10 highest crazy movies. <clears throat> it's all about the big bucks today. So without further delay, let's get started and just let's get into it. Number 10 and last place is Star Wars The Force Awakens. This <clears throat> isn't a bad movie, I just don't enjoy it. As much as the rest of his movies on this list. Yeah. The Force Awakens just feels like a rehash. Of Star Wars A New Hope. But for the newer generation. But I still think they don't do this movie as well. As The Force Awakens. Um, as The New Hope does. So. I just can't watch this movie and enjoy it. No matter how hard I try. So yeah, number 9 on this list is going to be The Lion King, the not animated one but the live action. This is one of those movies that looks really pretty, it looks really good, but because it isn't anima animated, you can't see the feeling in the characters and that's probably the thing that bothers me the most. Of this movie. So yeah. It's just. Some changes they make in this film. I understand why I did it. But I don't like it as much. So. Yeah. This is probably the biggest. If they just kept it like. In the past. They would have probably had a better chance. At this movie. Now from 8th. To 1st. All these movies. Are. 8 and above. And. I. Can put them either way so yeah um don't come at me with my list i'm probably gonna get hate for the next few but yeah let's get into number eight on this list is going to be avatar i'm not such a big fan of the avatar series or the films um the first time i've watched avatar i don't think I liked it as much when I was a kid. It was very hard to stay, not to understand everything that's going on. But on rewatch, it is better than I remember it. But it's still not as good as I thought it would be. Uh, the visuals are fantastic. It is groundbreaking. But Avatar, I don't know. It's not something I really like. It's not that kind of story for me. And as a fish out of water, it's a thing you see a lot of the times. So yeah, it's nothing new. But let's go on. Number seven, Jurassic World. Jurassic World is probably my second favorite Jurassic Park movie. Jurassic Park, the original one, is just a little bit better. Even though Jurassic World is... Probably a carbon copy, a clone, if you may. But I think something about your Jurassic Park, it makes the dinosaurs feel special. Jurassic World makes them look so much better. But there's just something in your Jurassic Park that makes it feel more entertaining. And I think Jurassic Park does some things better. But Jurassic World is still a very enjoyable movie from start to finish. Um, yeah, I like the dinosaurs and how, it, how they look. I like the Dominus Rex in this movie. The kills are fantastic. Yeah. But yeah, I got the a bottle, a Dr. Pepper bottle for Jurassic World behind my um, recording which I can show you at this moment because it's holding the recording up but yeah I'm a big fan of the Jurassic Park series Jurassic World one of my favorite memories a very good movie but not as good as the rest obviously number six is going to be Avatar the way of water now I've watched Avatar 2 when it came out in cinema without memory Without remembering anything from book number one. So me and my girlfriend went a little bit blind. Because we couldn't re remember anything. So it was hard to. It wasn't that hard actually to. 
keep along. It was they made it very easy at the beginning of the movie to um tell you everything that happened and to recap it in a very good way. And this is a very good movie. I think I pref I prefer it to Avatar One because of the supporting characters, the emotional level to this film, the way Sully grew up into his avatar form. I just this is just a little bit too long for me. But I understand that if you cut too much of this it wouldn't be as good. But still I'm a I love the sea so this is a love letter to me. That shouldn't have rhymed. But I enjoy this movie so much and the ending is very sad. <clears throat> so yeah, that's why this is number six for me. Number five, The Avengers. Now I remember watching this movie in cinema being the best thing i ever seen in my life. And it's funny because now it's just fifth on this list. But it's still a very enjoyable, good, entertaining movie. And I love this movie so much. Um, Josh Whedon had a very much impossible task. And he did it with perfection. Something no one ever could replicate. Except for the MCU. By bringing different properties into one. And it was the building stones of probably my favorite MCU well, my favorite franchise ever, which is the MCU, of course. So this is why it's number, five, number five. It's a very awesome movie. I love this so much. And watching it back, I remember all the good times. So yeah, but as time goes, things get better. Number four is going to be Titanic. Now, Titanic was probably the oldest movie on this list. And I've watched it for the first time this year. Because who, what boy wants to watch a romantic movie about a ship that sings? Definitely if not me. But I watched this movie for this list and I was shocked at how much I love this movie and how good it was. I can't get it out of my head. <laughs> but this was a, such a heartbreaking, capturing your feelings and put it on a place you don't know um, <clears throat> how to cope with it. And the ending, I don't know, the ending made me feel so happy and sad at the same time. I don't know how to describe it, but it was just such a good movie and I regret not watching this earlier in my life. Uh, probably a good thing because maybe it wouldn't be so high. But yeah, Titanic was a, just an amazing movie. And at the time of recording, um, the submarine is still missing. That is going to the Titanic. So all my hopes and prayers goes to those people in there. And after it will be, found, will be found. Number three is going to be Spider-Man No Way Home. What an amazing experience in the cinema. The way they've handled the three Spider-Mans coming together, they didn't use it as a Oh look, come watch this movie for this. They try to keep it a secret for the fans. And I'm so glad to see Toby and Andrew. Andrew being my favorite Spider-Man ever. It was a blast to see him in this movie. And I think this is why I love Spider-Man. It's the characters and how they can how they are together is what makes this movie so amazing and I think this is probably at this moment this is the second best Spider-Man film in my opinion uh, behind an obvious one that came out not too long ago so yeah this is a awesome fun hilarious people don't like the build up to it but I think it's it's so fine it's still fine but yeah Still an awesome movie. Number two is Avengers Endgame. 
this is the single most best cinema experience spectacle ever and this movie does this aspect of whatever you want you want big it's done big you want a spectacle it has a spectacle the ending fight was the best thing i've ever seen in my life i think till this moment it was so enjoyable watching it back i don't watch any game on repeat because it's such a spectacle i like to watch it once in a few years once a year because if you watch it too much it dives down a little bit but i'm glad i did that because I wanted to say Spider-Man Now I Home was better than this, but then I watched Endgame and I, then I was like, yes, I remember why this is such a good film. Probably one of my favorite films. But yeah, so cool. And you know why. The beginning is a little bit slow, but I like how slow it is. It shows you what happens when someone loses. And it's a good send-off to the Infinity Saga. Probably the best saga ever, in my opinion. Number one is going to be Avengers Infinity War. Now, this is probably the best MCU film. And a lot of people will agree with me on that take. But this is what happens when you give a bad guy a compelling backstory. You give him all the weapons and artifacts he needs to take it on with everybody in this franchise. And still come up closely, almost losing, but gets what he wants. He's not a bad guy. Well, he is a bad guy, but that this what this what he wants to accomplish isn't for himself. It's selfless, but he's doing it at the wrong way, and that makes this story more compelling, more emotional. The ending, bigger shock ever. Uh, I remember like waiting a year just to watch the trailer just to know what the hell is going on in this universe so yeah this is just a such a good movie and number one on this list for many reasons how they end up every single character the Guardians and the Avengers coming together that battle in Wakanda the Infinity Stones and how Thanos gets them all it's just such a compelling story but that was my list the average for this movie was a 8.8 .8. um if you don't know i take averages for every single ranking i do like i did the screen ranking and the in the average was a 8.18 so this is a 8.8 .8, which isn't really fair if i compare it because scream itself isn't isn't a big franchise it's a big franchise, but I don't. I mean it by the money standard. So that's why this is not going to go on the list because this is just the top ten movies that made the most money. And it's not fair because all these movies are good in their own way. That's why people watch them. So this won't go on the average ranking because it wouldn't be fair. But still, it has a better average than Scream. So yeah which is expected but yeah as always let me know what your ranking of the top 10 highest grossing movies are i would like to hear yours and while you're down there leave a like and subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys next time cheers